Hello my lovelies Today I'm going to be making this felt handbag which looks like a segment of orange This is the first in a new line of videos um, that I'm going to be posting on my channel and uh, basically it's going to be a series of unboxing and making videos so here's the first and this is a pre-packaged craft kit as you can see so I'm going to zoom you in and we can start unboxing this okay so I'll see you in a moment Here we have our box for our kit and it's very brightly coloured with a picture on the front of what we're going to make So, as I said at the beginning it's a felt handbag in the shape of an orange so it's for ages 8 and over and it's a cardboard box so let's flip it around and open it up I think that's everything, so let's just take our box and put you to one side Okay, so Aha, uh -huh. these look like the instructions these pieces. Now, somewhere on the box it did say that it comes with a plastic needle. But I think I'm going to also um, use a real needle for this just in case the plastic one breaks. Just separating all my little segments. Okay, so it looks like we have our zip compartment.
and oops, another long piece here. Here is our plastic needle and our little leaf decoration. It's very good. Okay. And I'm guessing this is to go around the edge. looks like a lot of thread. <laughs> this might be quite a long video. I do apologise. Okay, so we have our components. I'm going to have a quick read of the instructions and then I shall start sewing for you. Okay, so the instructions say to take four segments, which are the bright yellow ones, and to sew them onto corresponding panels, like so. Okay, so it should look like this. So I'm just going to start that. So I've got to line this up. And I am by no means a good sewer, so you might have to bear with me while I try to line these up. Okay. It's not looking too bad. I think my string's a bit tangled, but hopefully, once I've done all the sections, it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, my little string's come out of my needle. thing. It's quite easy to get back in. Okay. Right. I think what I might do is actually tie a little knot in the end just to make sure it doesn't come out. Okay. Right. Back we go. So. It does say on the box for eight years plus, so it's made so that children can do it as well. So hopefully mine should look like the one on the box. This is very cool. I can't wait to see when it's all finished. And I will have a very funky bag. I actually got this at a craft shop when I was um, on holiday. Um, when I went to visit my dad. There's a really big craft store near him. So 
I couldn't visit and not go there. And uh, this was actually on the uh, reduced aisle. Um, they were selling lots of craft kits off for a reasonable price. So I figured this would be a good one to do. comments if you are in fact enjoying this video and if you'd like to see more um, as I said I would like to do a series of these and they were heavily requested um, on my website via the voting system so I just want to thank you guys again for all your votes um, it is still up on my website and still available if you would like to vote. Um, I decided to leave it up there for a bit longer. For those of you who didn't get a chance to um, vote on videos. Oh, I think I've gone wrong somewhere. Yes, I have. That will teach me for being distracted, won't it? Let's just poke you back through. On Mr. Needle. There we go. Okay, so where did I go wrong? Ah, I see. Right. I should have gone underneath, I think. Have I gone back through the same hole? I think I'm good. There we go. So if you go back through that one, untangle myself. Yep, I see what I've done. I went through the same hole twice. There we go, that's better. Right. So what I should have done was gone up through this one. Okay. Much better. So yeah, as I was saying, um, if you'd like to still vote on the sorts of videos you'd like to see, um, you can still do that via my website. Got a tricky one in there. Okay. okay. Almost done. Oh, poke you through there. And then the last sections, if I can find it, there we go. Oh, a little bit tricky. There we go. And then the last one down there. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to do the other three, just to save a bit of time. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now I have 
have my four sections all sewn on. Looks very funky already, I think. For the next stage, uh, it says to use my yellow thread again, and this time we're going to be using these lighter yellow bits. So Hopefully, it should look something like this, which looks just like the front of the box, so we're doing good. Okay, so again I'm going to sew the first section on, and then I'll go away and finish doing these ones. Okay. Get my needle prepared. Oop. Make sure it's not going to fall off. This thread is a little bit tricky. It just does not want to stay. Good thing I've got lots of it though. Okay. So I've learned a little trick that I should really go downwards into uh, the second layer and not start upwards. Otherwise I end up at the end with like an odd um, piece of thread. So, okay. Make sure I've got a long piece. I'd hate to run out of thread part way through a section. <laughs> that would be awful. Okay, down the next one. Just pull that through. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm actually going to do with this bag once I've made it. I could give it as a present, I suppose. Maybe one of you out there would like to have it. <laughs> Though with my sewing skills, possibly not. It's um, kind of funny, um, one of my friends noticed one day when I was sewing uh, that I actually use both hands, which is quite funny, um, considering I'm actually left-handed. <laughs> so, as you can see, I usually start sewing with my left hand, and then I'll switch to my right. See, it's just... A weird automatic thing that I do. I don't know why I do it. I should really stick with my left hand because it's much more accurate. But I don't know. Maybe I'm ambidextrous. Who knows? I think it's just something that I've gotten used to ever since I was little. I always used to sew with both hands when I was little, so maybe I picked it up and just never stopped really. Okay. Oop. I've 
lost my thread. A little bit fiddly. I'll just pop you back in. back in. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, let's jump that back in. There we go. Now where were we? Ah yes, down here. Almost done. Just a few more left. And there we have it. Okay, so I'm just going to work around again and finish the other sections and then we can move on to the next part. Now we have the face of our bag. I'm going to put it to one side because for the next part we're going to be making the zip compartment. So I'm just putting this to one side. Okay, so we've got our zip and looking at the instructions we need to add a few more pieces. So it says to line these two up. Okay, and then I'll need to stitch these together with the green thread. And this part here is our handle, so I have to stitch that to there, and this piece to the other end. So I'm just going to do that, get my green thread. Okay, so the diagram's not very clear, but this looks like it makes sense. So let's see how we go. There we go. I'll leave a little bit of thread at the end. Actually I'm just gonna pull that out a second. There we go, make the knot a bit smaller. Okay. So, do that again quickly. There we go, M much easier. Okay. Pull it through, so there's a bit of excess. Because I'm going to want to tie that off at the ends. bit fiddly because obviously the zip compartment keeps getting in the way. Okay. Flip it back over and line it up again. Okay. So 
I'm actually going to go back over that stitch because I want both pieces to come out the back. scissors okay. I'm just going to tie these off so they're nice and secure there we go neaten those up So let's grab our green handle. Again, this is going to be a little bit fiddly because I've got to hold them together while I sew through. Okay, well I don't want the thread to come through from that side, so I'm going to pull that out and just redo that quickly. from the other side. Okay, that's better. Find that little gap in there. Oop. Okay, and push that through. I'm going to poke it back through the middle so that it's a bit neater and my cord comes out this side because I don't want any loose parts on the outside of the bag. this end. Grab some more thread. Same again. Through the middle. Oop. Providing it doesn't get stuck. Okay, just get that bit of thread out of the way. 
and then back again through the last one. Ooh. Not to worry, just pull it through, pop it back onto my needle. back on. It's putting up a bit of a fight. <laughs> okay, there we go. And back through the middle, just like I did on the first piece. off. Obviously it's a little creased from being in the box, but if I bring those around, you can kind of see this will be the outside of our bag. Okay, so that's that part done. The next part of this is we have to sew our outer edges, so that's this one, and this one here, to the sides of the bag. So I'm just going to go off and do that quickly for you, and then you can see uh, the finishing touches, and our bag should almost be ready. both sides together and if I can find the zip here we go little bag and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I did have to change my thread halfway through because I ran out unfortunately. But I don't think that's too bad for a first attempt. So that was uh, pre-packaged crafts making a felt handbag. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye bye.